crackberry.com. Hi, everyone. Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. I got my Blackberry playbook out, <clears throat> and we're going to check out a game called Dead Space. It's from EA Mobile. There was quite a buzz on Twitter last night when it popped up. Um, it's a super cool game. If you remember, EA made the uh, Need for Speed, which shipped on the playbook, which was an awesome game. Graphics, sound, all that good stuff. Um, and Dead Space looks to be a definite hit. It's already moving its way up in the top paid. I think it's, um, I actually think it's at number one now. Um, so you can see here we fired up. There's no lag. The graphics are super cool. Um, I started the game earlier, but we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. Just so you can get a little, uh, just to the intro. We'll do the story mode. Um, as they recommend, it's cool to play with headphones on because you get the, you know, not totally surround sound, but you definitely get immersed into it, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll wait until it fires up here. Um, I haven't played it on any other platform or anything, so this is my, my first Dead Space experience. But it's definitely a cool game. A uh, little alien stuff going on, a little sci-fi-ish, so we can see the intro here as it just runs through. So you can see it there. <clears throat> Super smooth. Um, just kind of flows through. The graphics are pretty intense. So on the playbook, this is definitely one of the best there's been yet. And I don't know if we can skip through this, but we'll let it fly through there. So like I said, it is $9.99 in App World. Uh, if you're thinking about buying it, I'll just give you a little preview here so you can kind of get a better idea of it. But 10 bucks is a little bit to throw down for a game, so hopefully this will help you in your decision making, but we shall see. I'm a big fan. Um, I was rocking it out in bed last night. Blaze told me to, you know, he said play it in bed and it'll freak you out. So I threw some headphones on, played it in the dark, and he was right. It's definitely a little scary at times. Once you get into it, the beginning is more of a tutorial. gives you um, all the motions to move around and do the actions and stuff like that. And then you kind of run into the aliens and stuff later on. So you can see here, you do the finger on top. You can go forward, backward. Um, left and right and then over here is your look button so it's kind of like the joysticks you know if you hold it up more uh, you know like PS3 or Xbox style so you have your two sticks that get you going around so you can see here as we run through I mean super smooth there's no hold up or anything like that um, and once you figure the controls out it's pretty easy obviously not so much when it's down like this if you're using the index fingers but if you're holding on to it using your thumbs okay. pretty sweet to get through so we're just going to bust through here a little bit, give you a quick idea of what's going on. Um, so they give you little hints as you go along. They'll either be uh, pop-ups on the screen or you can hear them telling you there what to do. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab the plasma saw here. You can pick it up. Fires it up. So they tell you there the plasma saw is for heavy duty materials and then they're going to show you how to wipe out these power boxes, just swipe up and I'll unlock the door and we'll go ahead and jump through there and jump in there. So that's it for the most part, I mean the beginning is all a tutorial but you can see here I mean it's super smooth when you're trying to move around and all that good stuff, you know and you got your, your pause menu. You can quit if you wanted to for whatever reason. There's a little locator in here, so it kind of lights up the floor, tells you which way to go. Um, so we'll jump out real quick and we'll go into the game that I already started. This is a game I had started last night, so I'm already went through most of the uh, the beginning tutorial stuff and I'm into the, the heat of the battles. Uh, so we just get a good look at kind of what goes on with uh, the fighting and stuff like that. So you can see here the object is to escape. You get some creepy aliens there, but you get your plasma saw so you can kind of take them out. Um, do a little of that action. So you can see, you can hear from the uh, just the sound playing through the speaker. I mean, it's pretty crazy when you actually have headphones on. You know, and if you can picture this in the dark, where you just have this kind of you know illuminated red freaking you out, it's pretty sweet overall. So we just kind of truck through here. You can spin around if you double tap on it. So I got some guys creeping on me there. And like I said, if I mean if you're holding it up with your thumbs, it's definitely a lot easier to uh, to work it. But the controls are pretty easy once you get it figured out. You know, it's a little tough just as all on-screen controls are for stuff like this. But 
it's still pretty sweet. So we'll just run through here. And again, you got your little locator. Shows you where to go. It gives you your, uh, your objective there. So we'll just kind of truck through here. Figure our way out. Sounds awesome. The graphics are great. I have no idea where I'm going. If you couldn't tell. I'll do my little locator again. Oh, I got a guy behind me there. That's not good. Oh. That looks like the end of that. Get a little overtaken. And we're dead. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That is Dead Space on the Blackberry Playbook. Um, if you're thinking about buying it, you know, it's totally up to you. Ten bucks. I think it's worth it. Uh, I'm a big gamer fan. Gives me something to do on the go. Ten bucks is ten bucks. So, you know, if you're thinking about it, hopefully that helped you out a little bit. But it is Dead Space on the Blackberry Playbook. $9.99 available in Blackberry App World.